welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the Virgo Sun Moon and Rising now congratulations this is the beginning um, from um, the year 2017 zodiac um, birthday for you Virgos because actually your year of 2017 begin on the 23rd of August of August okay so congratulations again you're beginning a new year um, and for you Virgos um, it's a wonderful because you're starting off the week of September and I want to know what is going to be your focus for this year for you Virgos and you have messages coming into you this is good the page of ones is messages with a business situation whatever is happening for you Virgos is a good message is coming in to you and this is over business proposition so in the year 2017 you will be receiving messages over business so if you guys are planning to start a new business um, if you guys have been waiting for messages whatever the messages is um, work information um, visas that sort of a thing whatever you have been waiting for um, in the year 2017 this is going to happen so let's say that you have applied um, in another country for a position or in a in another state for a per permission or for something but good news is on its way and this year 2017 for you Virgos is going to be very very positive okay the energy vibration of this month of September is the energy of the wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune is bringing you um, Virgos wonderful wonderful information that is coming to you Virgos whatever the situation is whatever that has been happening in your life um, positive information is going to come in in the year 2017 okay so whatever that has been happening in your life whatever situation that has been happening in your life you are going to see positive endeavors coming in your life so it's going to be a really 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 positive situation and your life is going to be extremely good so you'll be in the month of September we have the energy vibration of the zodiac energy of the harder the hurt and then you're ending the month with a zodiac energy of air it's a positive positive month the month of September for you Virgos are very very positive you have the energy vibration of the nine of uh, um, Pentacles and you have the energy vibration of um, um, two the Pentacles of uh, the eight of Pentacles so you have the nine of Pentacles with happy 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 joy 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 and then you have the eight of Pentacles and you have the two of cups and you have the ace of cups so this is this is powerful it's all about money in the first two weeks because you're you are entering your um, zodiac birthday and it's all about love and then this month of September you have the two of cups so a lot of connection love connection business connection love connection is going to happen for you Virgos and then you have the energy vibration of the ace of cups which is just so positive this month of September you have the first week which is an emotional week but this is bringing you wonderful wonderful emotion because you have the energy of judge of, of judgment and the energy of judgment is positive it's bringing in wonderful situation and then we have in the second week of earth energy vibration and it so happens that something strange is here and this is just luck this is sometimes the universe and the angels send things that you're not aware of and then uh, I can see what the, where they're going so in the second week it's going to be one of your most positive the second week you're going to be working very hard in the second week then we have the energy vibration of um, the, the 
um, hair sign in the third week uh, and that is the energy of the number seven the air sign which you're moving away some people will be um, achieving things and some people will be working with groups of people okay and then we have the last week we have the energy of the 12 and the energy of the 12 is the energy vibration of connecting with other people and it's going to be um, people sending you a lot of love so whatever is happening this is going to be extremely positive for you um, um, Virgos okay let's see what other messages would like to come out for the Virgos in the first week what other message would like to come out in the second week what other message would like to come out in the third week I have a message oh my gosh in the fourth week okay I've just seen something I've just seen something okay and again I think um, sometimes I have to change uh, because they are saying to me that this setting I need to change up the way I'm going to read okay sometimes this happen all right you have the energy of the five of Pentacles the five of Pentacles is our ship you see the um, um, situation of our ship there the five of Pentacles is as if you're out and down and you have uh, um, hardship with your financial situations and you're having hardship with certain aspects and certain situations around you okay it not only to be financial but it can be hardship in a lot of other different ways what is happening is that the situation that is affecting you um, is uh, no longer going to be there because this hardship you are having the energy of the nine of Pentacles coming in the nine of Pentacles coming in which is very um, wonderful so the energy of hardship is no longer is going to be there because in the first week the nine of Pentacles is going to come in and then we are going to have a happy happy um, outcome so whatever is happening for um, you Virgos at the end of August coming into September the hardship that you have in August and in August with your financial situation and your emotions you are going to see that the beginning the first week of September is going to be extremely wonderful where you're having the energy vibration of the nine of Pentacles and you're going to be happy 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 joy 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 so whatever that has been happening whatever situation that has been taking place you are going to see a positive endeavor that whatever you end the month of August with you're beginning the month of September with the nine of Pentacles and you're being extremely extremely happy so this is going to be wonderful um strange but sometimes I have to change up the reading in the second week we have the energy vibration of the five of swords so I'm seeing a pattern here going the five of the swords is defeat and actually it is in this card set because each card says carry an, another energy vibration this is a defeat because you have the three people at the end of the tree and the other person has been crucified on the tree so you had a defeat in whatever situation that was going on but yet still you have not given up because you're still working at whatever the defeat had brought in your life you're still working hard at it and whatever the defeat was you're working so hard at it that uh, um, by working so hard and focusing on what you want it's going to happen for you but you need to clean up certain things and certain aspects whenever the energy of cleanup comes up it is a positive energy that whatever situation that was left undone behind you're going to start cleaning up and you're and for the people who haven't cleaned up certain things so as if you have bills to pay or or you have a, a relationships that you have people that you just cut off without and saying whatever go back and call them let them know the reason why you decided not to have any more contact with them or you have situations so it says you have left the relationships um, without saying anything you have walked away from situation without saying anything go back and explain why you can write them to okay you can write people you don't have to give it to them but you can write people and the energy vibration will heal whatever the situation is so there's a lot of situation that needs to be ill and when cleanup come up what they're saying is that it's not really um, for some people it's really cleaning you need to clean up but for some people it's like healing situation by um, asking for forgiveness or ask the um, universal angels to come in 
you will you can always write a letter and say this is the reason why you don't have to send it off but you can write it and finish it and ask for forgiveness ask that they let you go in you so this is good because he's working hard he's working hard and that means that he needs to finish up and clean up certain aspect of his life before he can move on to that new place is or her life to that new place okay what is so amazing about this card is that when you clean up whatever the situation is the energy vibration of the second week is also the energy of the world which is the number 21 card and this energy is also number 21 so whatever is happening in the second week it's going to be positive there's going to be a lot of endings and new beginnings there's going to be a lot of success because the energy of number 21 came up twice okay so that is unbelievable the guides my guides and the people who are challenging is is, is really beautiful okay okay now um wonderful 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 we have in the third week happiness we have the nine of cups and this is so beautiful I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen but I love when people are in love I love the wonderful energies that love brings in the happiness the joy the positive energy this is going to be good what is happening and the energy of happiness comes in with this energy of happiness you have the two of cups so this is a week of love if you're out there looking for a love relationship it's going to be in the third week this third week is all about connecting with other people and know within you that this is the person for me it's all about love it's nothing some people will have this um, knowingness because it's a deep knowing that this person is my twin flame or my soulmate it's a deep knowing that this person I can really open up myself to and trust it's a it's, it's, it's a it's, it's really 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 a deep knowing over a situation that this is someone that I can be myself with this is the love of my life this is my twin flame this person I've known for a lifetime it's a deep knowing that you are having this wonderful perfect relationship that is about to come in your life for some people and for some people maybe you have met them in August and you're going back for another date and you're know deeply that this is the person for me this is wonderful this is powerful ladies and gentlemen so in the third week you can connect with people it's all about uh, the energy vibration of love the positivity of love love coming in your life the deep knowing that you are about to stand up to something to know that love true love positive love knowing that that is a person who was meant for you coming in your life and this is going to be good okay in the fourth week another wonderful week you have the energy vibration of loss the eight of cups for some people you're going to go through a loss the eight of cups is always uh, um, a loss moving forward leaving things behind understanding that there is nothing else you can do with whatever the situation is but understanding that life is full of surprises and we need to just go with the flow whatever it is showing us okay as we move forward as we let go of that loss we are going to understand that the universe is going to send us something much beautiful much wonderful than what we have lost okay this loss could could come up in love relationship um, the end of a marriage um, it's all about the love is in the loss of something that you love very much um, the loss of your you know your work whatever it is but it's a loss it is a loss of something it's a loss of miss maybe friends it's a loss of people who you really thought was there for you and this loss is coming up in your life but with this loss something beautiful much bigger much powerful much positive is going to come in your life and the wind of changes the changes in the wind is here so whatever the loss was and you were you were crying about it something 
bigger and better is coming and the wind of changes is blowing in your favor and this is extremely good the wind of changes is blowing in your favor and this is extremely good so you Virgos, isn't this a wonderful this is really wonderful for you Virgos. whatsoever is happening whatsoever loss whatsoever changes remember the energy of uh, what is happening in your life this is going to be positive so um this uh, um month you can expect to receive a whole lot of messages that is going to happen to you it's a mess it is a is a month of uh, um love true love the 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 scent of true love coming in um your materialistic situation will be ill whatever loss that you have lost you're going to receive something much bigger and better okay much bigger and better much bigger and better whatever the loss was something is coming in which is going to be much bigger and better so this is going to be good okay all right um as we move on we're going to look at the love scenarios and the love situation that is going on we have the energy vibration of judgment and also people and this judgment whatever is happening in the first week this is a love reading for the month of September whatever is happening there is a lot of people that is talking there is a lot of talking going on a lot of verbal communication this could be telephone calls this could be negotiation that you're going through this could be um, situations with your siblings this could be talking um, ectic times and and old people are talking about the situation but whatever the situation is uh, that people are you know talking about it's important conversations okay very important conversation which are happening and for some people who are having health situation you're going to see that doctors and nurse are trying to coincide to look at your situation so um, whatever the situation is because this is a love reading um, there is going to be important information and important conversation that will be taking place okay for some people who are on the spiritual part there's going to be spiritual discussion with other people okay there is going to be spiritual conversation with other people there's going to be a connection of the hearts with other people and this is going to be extremely good okay so as we move on and we are going to look at the second week what is happening in the love atmosphere in the second week what are we looking for with the love atmosphere in the second week there is going to be a resolve uh, important information is going to come to you from someone very significant in your life something and uh, uh, something is going to unlock something is going to be revealed okay so whatever is happening um, there is going to be uh, an unlocking of something and 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 uh, information is going to come to you from someone it's as if um, if someone is cheating on you in your life um, the information is going to come to you it's as if in the second week someone is going to say something to you and reveal what is going on with your partner that you weren't aware of so there is going to be information coming to you about your relationship something that you weren't aware of okay for some people whatever need there is with your health situation and it's going to improve whatever um, um, situation is there with your health situation it's going to improve you're going to find a solution to a health situation that you're having this can also the health situation for yourself or the end situation for your partner but whatever is happening in your health or the health of your partner is going to be improved and they're saying to you that you need to reach out to the spiritual or the alternative uh, um, way of healing you you need to reach out to the spiritual or the alternative way of healing this is the message that is coming through for the people who are having love relationships remember some people are going to get a message that your partner has been cheating on you information is going to come to you that you weren't aware of about your uh, relationship take it and uh, deal with it with love some people who 
either you or your partner isn't well if the, 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 the situation is going to improve and they're saying to you choose the spiritual way of an alternative route it's as if you've been going the, the, the route that you always go and something is happening and they're saying to you now choose another route in your life okay as we look at the third week we have a situation that is going to affect the people between the ages of um, 18 and 35 whatever the situation is that is going to affect the people between 18 and 35 is going to be wonderful because what is happening is that a lot of people will be connecting if you are between the ages of 18 and 35 you will be connecting with your soul mate so again if you are between the ages of 18 and 35 you will be connecting with your twin flame or soulmate it's going to be a positive positive you're going to be meeting people and you're going to know deep down within you that that is the person for me I is as if you have known this person it's going to be a joyful um, reunion whatever it is it's going to be extremely a joyful reunion with this person because you're going to know that this person has been in your life for a very long time and have the energy vibration of a soulmate of a twin flame and this is very wonderful this is very positive whatever the situation is happiness the men are going to be extremely happy because as if you know that this person comes in your life uh, it is going to be as if uh, your dreams and wishes for a positive relationship is here and you are going to feel so connected the next energy that is there is the bucket of uh, it's as if I'm seeing that the ladies are going to get a bucket of roses it's as if or a bucket of flowers and it's going to be a gift from the gods or the, the guardian angels or whoever the spirit world is that is coming in it is going to be a relationship of a lifetime that is going to help you in a many many um, years to come this is going to be a long-lasting relationship so whoever in the third week or in this month of September who you have met someone and you feel as if you have known the person for lifetime and lifetime this person is going to play a significant role in your life and you're going to end up as a twin flame of a soulmate relationship so this is wonderful this is positive okay so ladies and gentlemen we're going um, further we are going further and we're going to see what is the energy vibration for the fourth week in the love scene what is the energy vibration in the fourth week in the love scene okay some people are going to feel a lost in your relationship whatever the situation is you are going to feel a lost in your relationship whatever that was there you people are feeling a lost in your relationship and what you need to do is to understand that there is no loss there are a situation that is happening around you there's absolutely no loss whenever we think of situation of being a loss we're not aware that we need to lose certain things so that certain things um, is going you need to release certain things so that good things come in your life okay whatever the situation is you need to release certain things so that good thing come in your life okay so whatever is happening in the fourth and last week whatever whoever wants to leave a relationship let them leave you need to release that relationship so that you can move on and you can heal yourself okay the overall message is that there is going to be good communication there is going to be um, promising connection with other people so good communication promising um, communication with other people promising um, you know um, you know you can meet someone and you can realize really realize that this relationship is something that is going to turn out to be good um, people will be making promises and they will be holding their promise uh, to whatever relationship that is happening and this is going to affect the people who are between the ages of uh, um, um, 18 and 35 and most of you need to remain positive and calm whatever the situation is remain 
positive and calm whatever is happening remain positive and calm there is a significant situation that is going to happen to the older men whatever is happening you need to to remain positive and calm so whatever that is happening um, to you men who is 36 and older um, with your financial situation you need to stay positive and calm okay so there is going to be a, a, a situation and um and and this has to do with um love okay this have to do with love but yet still it has to do with family business and old money i'm seeing so th this came up in uh, the love reading because you your family is very important to you but whatever this situation you're dealing with family members because it's a f for some people who have family business uh, this is the, the 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 time in a love reading when money and and, and love um, is mixed because it is as if in um, there is an energy of, of a situation with a family business that there is money money is um, the, the the effect of this business and it is old money is a family business but it is old money so whoever you are out there there is a situation there is something that is happening okay whatever is happening out there there is a situation that someone who has a family business there is going to be a lot of complication and uh, and it can be lost for some people but it can be gained for some people but it's family a uh, family business and old money they're saying old money there's something with a family business and old money whatever is happening out there there is also the energy vibration of uh, an Aries a uh, Leo or a Sagittarius that has to do with this family business and there is old money so there is something out there for the men who are older than 36 and older there is a situation with someone who is a, with a Leo uh, a, a Leo a Sagittarius or an Aries and it has to do with family business because remember your focus is that messages will be coming in whatever it is um, messages will be coming in so whatever is happening in uh, this week uh, um, the message is coming in for a lot of people and you're going to understand and realize that certain situations certain aspects certain situation that is happening in your life at this moment that you need to look closer because uh, um, it came up in, in the love reading and uh, um, you need to understand that you need to stay calm whatever is happening you need to stay calm Whatever situation that is happening, you need to stay calm. There is going to be um, a resolution. Um, remain calm. Whatever is happening, remain calm. Okay, we need to understand that certain things and certain aspects of our lives, so we carry certain energy vibration and we need to stay calm as to whatever is happening in our lives. So this is going to be good. Okay, um, it's going to be positive because. Uh, um, happiness and money you're going to feel happy there's a lot of money um you know there's a lot of money that is is coming in um um you know expect the unexpected um you know um a lot of money will be coming in um, to you so expect the unexpected a lot of money will be coming in to you and this has to do with um, a family a family business or old money so be aware of whatever is happening old money I write the name of whatever is going to happen so bear with me okay we're moving forward that was the end of the love reading and we're moving forward we're using the vortex energy let's see what the energy of the vortex have to say to us for the 
Virgo in this month at the beginning of your 2017 year you have the energy vibration my life is about my relationship this comes up also for someone um, you will never find yourself in a point in time when the subject of relationship is not an active part of your now experience for everything you perceive or notice or know is because of your relationship with something else without a comparison and experience you would be unable to pursue or focus any kind of understanding within yourself therefore it is accurate to say that without relationship you could not uh, um, exist at all and that is true because within every relationship we learn something new about ourselves from out every relationship we learn something new out of ourselves and that is a message that is going to be coming into some of us okay we're working also with the ascendance masters let's see what messages is coming in for the ascendance masters let's see what messages are coming in for the ascendance masters and we have the 12 chakras so you Virgos Wow well, ladies and gentlemen you Virgos you need to work with your 12 chakras following the fall of Atlantis five of our 12 chakras close ascension started when we once more activate all 12 of our fifth dimensional chakras this bring to reconnection the 12 um, um, the 12 strong of DNA so that we can reclaim our true spiritual and psychic gifts your guidance is to ask the unicorns to touch open and activate your earth chakra your base chakra your navel chakra your solar plex chakra your heart chakra your throat chakra your third eye chakra your cosmos chakra your soul star chakra and the stellar gateway chakra this is another thing and I'm open that people are listening and reading this because there was a discussion last year that someone was telling me that there's only seven chakras no we have like 144 chakras okay but the most important is the 12 most important chakra and for you Virgos I would like you to come back and through the period of the month to work all you have to do and here it is I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras it is so and it will be I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras it is so and it will be I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras it is so and it will be you can also say I am awakening my 12 fifth dimension chakras so you can say I awaken or I am I am is always very positive to say you have the energy of the number one energy this is good because you see that the ascendance masters and angels and guides are working with you to align and balance your 12 chakras so this is wonderful this is beautiful this is this is extremely beautiful and ladies and gentlemen so here we are we are going forward we are going to look at what zodiac energy vibration is here you know I've always say this to people and I'm so grateful for the people who have uh, I'm actually extremely very grateful for the people who have really 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 uh, start making these chakras card to show people that um, I was not in the beginning um, telling stories but really showing you that the the chakras because you know that was a great thing and there's sometimes that people try to you know um, whatever um, energies they're trying to use to make other people feel good it was a discussion yeah but it, there is only seven chakras no there is not the only seven chakras we have 144 chakras and as we um, and it can also be more it depends on who you are and what you came in this planet to do so sometimes when people have discussion I stay out of this discussion because I don't know everything but I always ask my guides and angels if I'm hearing something I ask my guides and angels is that the truth and they always are you know and I and I I I, I am somebody who's a researcher I spend less time talking 
um, to people and more time researching things for myself okay let's see what is here for the Virgo Sun Moon and Rising um, and the uh, Sun Moon and Rising what planets and let's see what's here for the um, Moon Rising Virgos the planets Mars is coming up Mars um, career changes for a lot of people especially the earth sign people what zodiac sign is going to be working with the Sun sign people oh my gosh what zodiac sign will be working with the um, moon sign people okay this is first time I'm seeing the Leo's the fire people oh this is wonderful okay let's go ladies and gentlemen boys and girls for the Sun people um, this is wonderful for the Sun people because the Sun of Virgos you're going to be working with the planet of love oh my god this is so perfect because in your reading in the third week we had the two of cups happiness the nine of cups and this was the energy vibration for the people between the ages of uh, 18 and the 35 so this is good whatever is happening love is coming in for you Sun people so if you were born between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m m your sun sign and the uh, the um, planet of love Venus is going to be working with you who the planet of love is going to bring in your life is other Virgos so Venus the planet of Venus is going to bring other Virgos in your life and they're also going to bring the cancers and this is a good balance because you are a heart sign and you're bringing other Virgos so you'll be connecting with other Virgos and they're the other Virgos or the Gemini's who mm, hold on the Librans who are becoming Virgos because you're going back a sign so and these are people who are Librans who's coming who's turning out to be Virgos because they're um, everyone is going back a sign with a new 13 planet that came in so this is good because you Virgos are wonderful whatever the situation is with your soul um, with the Sun sign the energy of love you're going to um, be attracting more Virgo people in your life and more cancer people so this is what is going to happen in the third week with the, the relationship and remember people it doesn't have to necessarily be in the third week it can be in the first week or the last week you know it can be uh, some people will attract the people in their life in different uh, times but it's going to be in the month of September so you're going to realize that you're connecting with more Virgos and more cancer people which is extremely good this is this is perfect this is wonderful as we look at the lunar energy people the moon people what is happening for you moon people we have Mars whatever is happening ladies and gentlemen the planet of Mars the changing of career and I know why it's because we need to release the third dimensional career that we took on and look for our true divine part so for you Virgos whatever is happening is that you're going to be working with the planet of Mars and it's a career change and what is happening is that you are going to see that you're having relationships with the Leos and the Aries that will be coming in your life to help you to move with passion within you and you have the page of one so who is bringing in all these people because this is what the message was all about the page of one has the energy vibration of a messenger coming with a message and this message is about the changing of your career and we have the energy of the Leos and the Aries who are coming in and really changing helping you to change and move out on a new career part in your life and I'm, 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 I'm guided to look at something for you guys because uh, um, the energy of the moon because we have the planet of Venus in um, you know um, there is so much so much so much information that I'm seeing there that I can't give you really at this moment and we have the moon with Mars the moon with Mars the moon with Mars the moon with Mars we have the energy with the uh, um, moon uh, okay let's look at the Sun with the Sun with um, Venus the Sun with Venus the Sun 
met Venus. Open your eyes to the beauty that is within you. So for the sun people, you need to open your eyes to the beauty that is within you. Your life is a work of art. So remember, you sun people, open your eyes to the beauty that is within you. Your life is a work of heart, and this is wonderful. As we look at the lunar people, let's see what is happening to the lunar people. What is uh, happening to the lunar people? Because you're carrying the energy vibration of uh, um, Mars, and this is this is this is really really strange. Um, Keep control of your temper for what you feel in the moment may not be the same upon quiet reflections. Okay, so keep control of your temper, you lunar people. Keep control of your temper um, because what you feel in the moment may not the same upon quiet reflection and this is a very very positive energy and this was what I was guided for you to do and I want to say to you it's a very long video but it's a monthly reading namaste enjoy your month and I will speak to you next time